cancelled factory plans, expensive battery recalls, and of course, a pandemic that devastated consumer demand. Despite nearly a year of bad news, NIO emerged in the second half of 2020 as a rare coronavirus success story. But can NIO's own autopilot technology stand up to the looming threat of Tesla's Dojo supercomputer? Roll the intro. I'm Fanny from Studio Invest, and we're here to discuss NEO, Tesla, and the future of autonomous driving. Looking for the right investments in a crowded market can be difficult, and the field of self-driving cars is quickly becoming very crowded. That's why we're here with a down and dirty comparison of two of the biggest names in the electric car field, NEO and Tesla. More to the point. We're going to take a closer look at how the autopilot options compare. Which one is better? What makes them different? And where is each company trying to go next? Let's start with the basics. What is NIO anyway? And why are we comparing them to Tesla? Sometimes called the Tesla of China, NIO is a Chinese electric car company that trades on the New York Stock Exchange. For more information on NIO's stock performance, check out this review where we dive deeper into NIO as a stock and as a company. Despite the pandemic, both Tesla and NIO reached an important milestone in 2020. That's a bit surprising in NIO's case. It had a terrible year in 2019. After technical and financial setbacks, the company finished with a little over $300 million in cash. Not enough to meet their requirements in 2020. And when the pandemic began in China in early 2020, things looked pretty grim. But NIO rebounded in a huge way, securing a bailout deal and finishing with over $3 billion in reserve. And on January 9th, 2021, NIO unveiled a high-tech new electric sedan with advanced driver assistance technology and a range that could exceed 600 miles on a single charge. Unsurprisingly, NIO's stock has never been higher. But we're not as interested in the stock price today. What we're interested in is the technology behind NIO and Tesla. But before we go on, do us a favor, make sure to hit that like button. And since you're clearly enjoying the videos, why not subscribe to the channel? It makes us happy and you get crucial information for your investing. Back to the story. Everyone has heard of Tesla, an electric car company built and powered by Elon Musk. Begun in 2003, Tesla has experienced its own fair share of ups and downs. Although it enjoys better name recognition than NIO, it took until late in 2019 for Tesla to finally post its first annual profit by a narrow margin. Tesla followed that performance with a surprisingly strong year, when in March 2020 it officially reached the mark of over a million vehicles sold. That's a huge milestone for Tesla. Now riding a wave of success, the electric car company from Silicon Valley has the name recognition and technological firepower to be an electric vehicle juggernaut. for bigger shares of the electric car market. Both Tesla and NIO are racing to achieve the holy grail of electric cars, fully automated driving. Why the big push? Beyond the general reasons like improved road safety, both Tesla and NIO realized that the potential market for a fully self-driving car could be almost limitless. Research done by ARK Invest indicates that in a little more than a decade, the autonomous mobility as a service market could easily be worth $10 trillion worldwide. That's just consumer driving. Add in the potential disruption to the trucking and transport businesses, and that $10 trillion could grow even larger. Neo and Tesla aren't trying to achieve fully autonomous driving only for their own cars. They're trying to be the first to achieve something that can be marketed to other cars as an add-on service. Internal combustion engines and human drivers aren't going away anytime soon. But as more people go electric, the desire for a fully autonomous car grows even stronger. Neither company has fully autonomous driving yet, but both offer advanced driver assistance systems. And when it comes to those systems, both Tesla and NIO looked poised for some major breakthroughs. Let's break down what each company is capable of today and what they're working on next. But first, to help drive this great content, all we need you to do is hit that like button. Now I said it twice, so I'm counting on you. 
Neo relies primarily on third-party companies for the technology behind what it calls Neo Pilot. It works thanks to Neo's partnership with Mobileye, an experienced ADAS supplier, and an Intel company. It was actually in partnership with Mobileye that Tesla first offered its driving assistance systems. Thanks to that partnership, Neo Pilot today is considered an automation level 2 system. But wait, what do the levels mean? To help better understand the different stages of driver assistance and automatic driving, the Society of Automotive Engineers divides different systems into one of six levels. Level zero is your normal car. Level one includes limited driver assistance like advanced cruise control, lane changing and parking assistance. And level two is limited partial automation. Over the last few months of 2020, NEO unveiled a number of ambitious steps aimed at vastly improving their NEO Pilot technology. While NEO's new ET7 sedan is about a year away from hitting the road, it will feature upgraded 8 megapixel cameras that far outstrip anything Tesla currently offers. Improved cameras may not seem like much, but it will let NEO vehicles see obstacles earlier and avoid them more easily. It's worth noting that these are all proposed changes, but there's more reason to be bullish on NEO's long-term future as well. NEO announced a partnership with Luminar, a LiDAR specialist. Integrating advanced LiDAR technology could in theory give NEO an edge over Tesla. NEO's gamble on LiDAR is a big one. Elon Musk and Tesla have access to the advanced LiDAR technology used in SpaceX. But Tesla thinks that LiDAR is mostly unnecessary for truly autonomous vehicles. Actually, it isn't just Tesla. Elon himself thinks LiDAR for cars is a waste of time. Check out this clip where he explains some of this thinking. It's expensive and unnecessary, and as Andre was saying, once you solve vision, it, it's worthless. If Elon Musk is right, then spending time and resources integrating LiDAR on their vehicles will ultimately cost NEO in the long run. On the other hand, if LiDAR turns out to be the key in unlocking autonomous driving, NEO could gain a huge advantage over its rival. Let's be clear. Tesla has a huge head start on NEO. NEO relies heavily on partnerships with third-party companies, while Tesla is building their own technology from the ground up. More importantly, Tesla has been doing this for years. They've collected data from the over 1 million vehicles they've sold and are using that data in neural networks to train their in-house autopilot and full self-drive suits. That data has already given Tesla's autopilot an edge over anything NEO has at this moment. Even Tesla's standard autopilot includes dynamic steering and cruise control and is considered a level 2 technology. Tesla's paid full self-driving feature, an add-on to their standard package, is Tesla's most advanced suit. It includes auto steer, traffic light and stop sign control. With that said, that's well beyond anything NEO currently provides. Tesla's advantage lies in the fact that any improvements they make in the core software can be pushed out to the existing vehicles through regular over-the-air updates. That means drivers see the technology improving before their eyes. Pretty cool, huh? It also explains why Tesla is pouring resources into their own supercomputer. With a powerful enough computer, Tesla might be able to leverage its wealth of data to break into the elusive level 3, a fully autonomous self-driving car. The proposed supercomputer behind Tesla's plan is known as Dojo. Wait a minute! Okay, wait a minute. Dojo? Why Dojo? Well, Elon Musk is no stranger to pop culture, and he's had some experience with martial arts as a kid. A dojo is a training center for martial arts, and the dojo supercomputer will train neural nets for the autopilot system. So it's a bit of an inside joke. Dojo version 1 might be ready in fall 2021, and when it comes online, the resulting improvements should boost Tesla's already impressive self-driving capabilities. Interested in chatting more about Dojo, Tesla, or Neo's efforts at the autonomous driving? Join the studio in this community and check out our brand new Discord server. Link down below. To sum it up, here's how things stand. Elon Musk and Tesla sit on some of the industry's best autonomous driving technology, supported by a cutting-edge team, in-house research, and a wealth of data. When Dojo comes online, it could well be one of the world's most powerful supercomputer, and it will be put to work designing neural networks to further improve Tesla's autonomous suits. That would give Tesla an even bigger leg up on NEO. NEO's not out of the race, but they are behind. 
They've been a rare success story coming out of 2020. But the big question would be whether or not their approach will succeed long term. By relying on third party vendors, NEO is able to pick industry leaders for each aspect of its systems. The chips behind the newest version of NEO Pilot comes from NVIDIA. While, as mentioned earlier, the LiDAR technology used to help it navigate comes from Luminar and the software from Mobileye. These are all experienced industry leading companies, so NEO's choices isn't strange at all. It does make NEO slightly more run of the mill. However, any car company can purchase the same parts NEO does and theoretically create the same car. That's not the case with Tesla. They keep everything in house. But that wasn't always the case. Tesla actually worked with Mobileye from 2015 to 2016. But after a short-lived partnership, Tesla opted to build its own ship to power its autonomous driving efforts, resulting in the current Dojo project. Since then, Tesla appears willingly to largely go it alone, rejecting LiDAR and relying on its own wealth of data to make the level 3 breakthrough that both Tesla and NIO are searching for. That approach offers other advantages as well. While developing its own solutions is resource intensive, Tesla can also customize everything, improving efficiency down the road. And since Tesla has their technology in-house, they'll also have more control of the costs, which in turn can give them a better margin than NEO. A good example comes when you compare chips. Tesla's top-of-the-line FSD suit is powered by their own bespoke chip. Because Tesla designs everything themselves, their FSD chip is not only powerful, but highly energy efficient. The less energy the ship uses, the more power is left to drive the car. Balancing the tightrope of a powerful chip and the reduced energy consumption is something Tesla can only do because of its in-house approach. And if you're interested in seeing some of what Tesla is already capable of, check out these videos of the new FSD beta test. Yeah, get used to that wheel spinning on its own, or maybe no steering wheel at all. If Tesla and NEO have their way, it will be the way most cars look in the future. In contrast, the newest NEO pilot will run out their Atom chip. But as mentioned already, that chip is provided by Nvidia. Recent promotions by NEO tout the new ship as seven times more powerful than Tesla's offering, but those gains are only achieved by using four NVIDIA drive or in chips simultaneously. That has given NEO significantly more operations per second than Tesla set up, but also requires over three times as much energy to run. Why the higher energy requirements? NEO relies on third-party suppliers, and even with high-end components, NEO can't control things as tightly as Tesla. Intrigued by Tesla or NEO? Now you know enough about the technology behind them. But remember, all investment involves risk, so be sure to do your research. And we're not financial advisors. So after all this information, which company do you believe in the most? Also, please feel free to let us know what topic you'd like to see us cover next. Hit that bell to stay tuned and informed. And until next time, safe investing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>